My name is Lucas Cuenca. I'm the character supervisor at Dynac North America. My job is to art direct technically and artistically the hero creatures. I'm originally from Ushuaia. Um, that's in the very south of Argentina. That's the southest point in the world. From there, I went to Buenos Aires to study. And in Buenos Aires, I studied in uh, multimedia design. And one day I watched uh, Lord of the Rings and I fall in love with all the creatures and characters in there. So that's how that influenced what I was studying. Um, and I tried to find out how that was done. Uh, and I found that Weta did it. So um, I take all my savings uh, with some help of my family um, and went to New Zealand. And, you know, I thought that I was going to work in the Lord of the Rings. I, would, I went without work, right? So I was very naive. But yeah, I didn't, I wasn't able to work in Lord of the Rings or the COVID at that time. But I found a job in a place called October Animation. I was always doing creature work, right? I was always focusing on doing creature work, uh, not only in, in, in my actual day-to-day -day work, but also personally, right? So everything that I was doing was creature-based. Um, and then I ended up at Dinec, where we started, I started in our department, and then I went to build. So designing the caches of Pacific Rim. I stayed in Dinec UK for three years, I think. And then I moved to Dinec Vancouver. Nature is the main source of inspiration. Uh, I know that this is a question that lots of people answers, but the truth is that, you know, you can get inspired by watching the clouds and you can see a dragon and you can see a, a, a goblin, you know, you can see you can see a tree and find inspiration in there. But also it's a lot of nature that we didn't research, right? So as soon as you start to research, uh, you can start to find things that you, you didn't know that actually exist in nature. All my designs, I try them to keep it grounded because they need to perform. They become actors in the films. If my source of inspiration is nature, I know that my designs are going to be grounded to something that is real. I stay motivated because I love what I do. In the film industry, you need to keep all the time evolving, right, with what you do, and I always want to become better. Sculpting is like drawing, or, you know, even sculpting in clay. You, your stuff is never perfect, you know, you always can get better, you know, not only can continue to be better, you need to learn more, you know, if it's not human anatomy, it's animal anatomy, if it's not, you know, if it's not cat anatomy, it's dog anatomy, you know. So every project um, right. I do, I try to become a specialist of that, right? My first experience with ZBrush, I open and close it. Uh, but then I watched, um, it was like 18 years ago, right? It was uh, ZBrush 2.5, it was dragging cubes everywhere on the screen. Um, but then the first video that I watched of how to use ZBrush was um, thanks to Gnomon Workshops, uh, Adam Sims' uh, video with this um, Velociraptor kind of dinosaur creature. And that was my first experience with ZBrush. I'm pretty new in using the iPad, but I download a lot of a lot of new tools, and I separate the tools into in two categories. You know, you have toys and tools, professional tools. Um, iPad, ZBrush uh, for iPad is a professional. You can definitely do professional work in the uh, in the iPad version of ZBrush. Also, the interface is very is is very well thought. You know. Um, I, I think that in, in general, it, it becomes a bit more easy to get into uh, than the PC version. For the Dragon, I wanted to push the iPad as further like, as I, you know, I want to see, okay, that's, I can I do a professional uh, project in Sirius with for the iPad? And I think that answer is yes. Uh, I can, you know, I was able to push a lot of geometry there. My idea was just, just try to make something as detailed as possible and see how stable it becomes and see if it's even possible because at the time I didn't know if it was even possible and it did very, very well. Uh, very, very happy with the performance.